By now you should know what a Dokiri is. A typical hidden camera prank like these two who think they're in a comedy sketch. Supposedly entering to talk with the Madame Supervisor, they quickly realise that the sketch was really a Dokiri prank. Then there are reverse Dokiris. This is where the victim supposedly gets pranked and when the pranker rushes in to deem the prank a success, he gets pranked. And realises that he was the victim all along. So what then is a reverse reverse Dokiri? Damasareta Taisho go one step further with their Dokiri master Degawa hidden inside a table, ready to burst out and surprise his victim. What Degawa doesn't know is that his victim, component of the famous rock band Tokyo, is well prepared for this and has a cream cannon with his name on it. His gun was a dud and he was the victim all along. Then there are Dokiris that go wrong. Like when this actor arrives for an interview with the supposed director of a TV show, only to catch her changing. Unfortunately, the woman leaves the fake latex butt exposed and the victim suspects something isn't right here. <laughs> The Madame Supervisor is disappointed in her henchmen's performance, but decides to continue with the prank regardless. Bomb Dokiri is a long-running prank where the challenge is to leave a bomb directly behind the victim without them knowing where it has come from. <laughs> and sometimes it works perfectly. Sometimes a set of Dokiris are prepared for various people to see how each one will react differently. Although it doesn't always work. <laughs> Which one of these crazy Japanese pranks made you laugh? Comment below!